Verdeen Verd Eaton will be happy that he's back with a new self-titled album called Verd. Now, the Durban-based vocalist last released solo material more than half a decade ago. He joins us in the studio to talk about his new offering, the latest work. Good morning, welcome to Weekend Live. Thank you so much, sir. How are you doing? Five years, Verd. Yes. Five years we've waited for an album. It's finally here. What is this self-titled album all about? It's just an expression of my experiences over the past five years, things I didn't get to say on the last album. Um, but I guess just uh, it's a conceptualized album as well. There's, there's stuff in there that I didn't really go through but I needed to talk about. But also it's just an amazing expression of love and it's an emotional album. So I, it's, it's all everything that's in there. Uh, Let's talk about some of those things that you're saying. I mean, I mean, what are some of the key messages? What are some of the songs that really stand out that fans of your music are really going to love on the new album? I would definitely say uh, the fact that uh, I'm now a, I've entered the new stage in my life. I'm a dad now, etc. I've, I've found love, you know, in the over the past couple of years. Uh, this is, there's a song on there that was written by my brother Lavelle Eaton that's called Alone No More. So that really speaks about my, my challenges over the years, trying to find direction, trying to find... I'm also a, a devoted... Uh, I'm, a, I'm a devoted church member as well. Mm. I'm, I'm, I found so many different uh, avenues, even spiritually. So I've, I've, I'm really not alone spiritually. I'm not alone in my love life. I'm not alone as a parent. I'm in every aspect, in my music, I'm just totally mm. fulfilled. So I guess it's, it's everything that's in there, man. So with all of those things happening on the personal front, when you sit down and you write music, I mean, there's a five your break you sit down and you write what kind of emotions do you go through in order to put an album together because you've got all these new things in your life happening it's, you know man if I could if I could explain how many different types of experiences and emotions I've actually been through we'll sit here the whole day mm. but basically I think what also contributed to this album was the fact that I was producing and writing for other artists in between. Mm. So your Pitch Black Afros, Mendoza's, uh, Marishan from Jamali is also on this album. Uh, <clears throat> I'll give an example, there's a guy like Saifo, for example, mm. hip hop artist that we worked with as well. So all these sort of things sort of allowed me to hone my songwriting and music production skills and also allowed myself to experience emotions also on that front, production side as well. I put in a lot of emotion and a lot of sometimes, you know, it's just that element of emotion in the music that you place. And the thing is, a lot of people ask me, what makes you so special? What makes your music so special that mm. people love it? It's playing on radio up until today. I mean, six years later, it's the You're music still in the still, industry and still working. That, and that's the thing. So I, I think it's just, for me, it's just about being real. It's about putting in true, true, your true feelings, what's on the inside yeah. of you. Paste your emotions onto your music, the lyrical content as well. I, I advise every songwriter as well to get involved in songwriting from the heart, not let's, just... Let, the let's go content. back there quickly because, yes. you, I mean, you've got so many hats uh, in terms of production, <laughs> right? You've worked with so many artists. Do, as the, the person, the technical person, the producer, do, is there lessons learned from working with other artists that you, you think, well, I can incorporate that into my own music? Absolutely. I think uh, if I can quote my brother on this one, he says to me, you know, I, I noticed that you put a lot of a lot of your time and concentrated effort on other artists and not so much time on your own stuff. I think that's just because of, of my devotion to what I do. Mm. I would rather have Sam have the better song than me have the better mm. song because either or, whichever way it goes, we're both going to benefit from it in the future. And the thing is, if I can take my emotions to the next level when I produce for you, then I think that my own music will grow eventually. So it's more its more like a, a selfless approach, if I can call mm. it that. And the thing is, I've embraced humility in the industry. I've embraced so many different things. But I'd say emotionally, I think that it's vital that we always stay in touch. And the thing is, if you can put in more for somebody else, you will always get more. Mm. Let, I mean, let's look back at Vert as the artist. I mean, you've worked with Kelly Rowlands, Ludacris, PB Winans. You've, you've been shared the stage with them, that experience. How is that? If you look back, I mean, you look back over your career, what are those, those moments like? Or is that the, an old artist and is this the new evolved artist? Well, this, this is definitely the new evolved artist. I think it's, it's very, very nice and it's, and it's, it's credible when, when you can share the stage with artists of that caliber. I mean, last year I did the Buster Rhymes and T-Pain tour as well. Yeah. And uh, I think that, honestly, it's, it was more of, a, of, of South Africa getting the opportunity to showcase what we have, not just us you know, screaming and making a noise and the hoo-ha about them coming through to South Africa. I mean, for example, on this new album, I have a, a song called South African Girls. And I just thought that wherever I go, and r and is, is a sort of a love uh, a mm. sort of genre. And uh, with that being said, ladies love r and in South Africa. They love my music, they've supported. So I gave them that sp specific shout out on the album. And the thing is, with, with, that, uh, with that sort of 
concentration on, on South Africa. I think that it's time for us to really export our R&B and yeah. our soul music and whatever. And it's not only about us getting the opportunity, so to speak, and opening for these, these artists. I mean, we can get those opportunities internationally as well, where we can open for them in their yeah. own cities. Let me, ask you, correctly. let me ask you very quickly, and we're running sure. out of time. Sure. For those that have heard your sound for the first time this morning, why should they go and get, very quickly, why should they get Verd? I think for, for those that are curious, I think you, if you want to find out what I'm about, I would encourage you to get the album. But if you really want to experience mm. all the different types of emotions and you want to be taken back uh, through to what you've experienced in your own life, I think that there will be something for you on this album. But Definitely. We're going to leave it there, but we'll hear more from you. That, of course, is singer Vert talking to us about his new album. And, of course, it's self-titled Vert. Do stay with us. Let us know what you think. It's Weekend Live at SABC. He's performing another two songs. He's here until 8.30.